New at nine, some bodies of water in Utah are now considered unsafe, all because of harmful algae. And it could be dangerous for both people and pets. Fox 13's Brian Schnee looks at why dangerous algal blooms are popping up earlier this year and in some unlikely places. Depending on where you are in Utah, you might even have to go searching for water. But if you find it, you might not want to get in it. Normally we don't see harmful algal blooms at this magnitude and frequency until we hit maybe August or September. Utah's drought is partially to blame for a buildup in cyanotoxins and bodies of water here in the state. With low water levels, warm water and air temperatures, these blooms are thriving. Decker Lake here in West Valley City hasn't had any warnings or advisories so far this year, but with conditions the way they've been this summer, that could change in a matter of weeks. We've seen low levels of harmful algal blooms in almost all of the lakes we're monitoring right now. So what is an algal bloom and why is it bad? Long story short, it's toxic and it's in the water. Here in Utah, they produce a neurotoxin and a liver toxin. So especially for children, pets, and those who are sensitive, uh, these can be really dangerous. And with pets especially, it can, it can be death within 20 minutes to an hour after ingesting these types of toxins. The state's Division of Water Quality monitors about 20 bodies of water at high frequency and get another 20 or so from partners across Utah. If you're heading to a lake that isn't monitored as frequent, there are some things you should do before getting in the water. The things you're looking for are maybe pea soup, lime green water. Sometimes it looks like someone's taken a lawnmower bag and those clippings are dumped straight into the water. It looks like grass clippings. Needless to say, if it doesn't look good, don't go in. And for years here in the state, it was believed that high mountain lakes were safe also. But that has changed. However, with climate change increasing in this drought that we're having in Utah, that's no longer the case. We see harmful algal blooms at high elevation lakes. We've seen some on Mirror Lake Highway, for example. So again, it's really important that folks know before they go. Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, here are some important tips if you decide to go in water where algal blooms could potentially be. Environmental experts say never drink the water or swallow water while swimming. Shower and wash your hands after you're done in the water and rinse animals immediately. If you're camping, never use recreational water to wash dishes. The Department of Environmental Quality does have a map of locations where algal blooms have been located. We do have a link to that map for you on our website, fox13now.com.